What is up guys, I'm Rick Kakis, and today we have a wild weekend for Destiny 2. I was gonna say that as a meme, but now it actually turns out to be true. I'll explain why that is in a second, but I wanted to hop on Destiny 2. It has been down for about four hours of maintenance because this is the closing ceremonies. This is the last thing that Bungie put on the seasonal calendar for Season of the Chosen. So what the heck is going on for the closing ceremonies? Well, as you can see right here, Hunters ended up winning this Guardian game, so congratulations to them. And I hopped on my Hunter to see what was going on. If you go to Zavala, he's going to give you a brand new emblem that you can see right here, and he's gonna give you a little bit of a speech about the next season. Here you go. Congratulations on your performance in the Guardian games. Your teammates are grateful for your efforts. That competitive fire I know will always show strong, whatever the outcome. However, now that we've united the tower with a much needed break, it's back to business. Hidden reports from Vex sectors grow more troubling by the day. Whatever they're planning, I know we can overcome it, as long as we stand together. Well, at least hinting at the next season. In any event, next up, you're gonna be able to grab the closing ceremony quest where it tells you to visit the podium. So you head over to the podium. As you can see, I interacted with the hunter symbol. I was the only one there. Then a bunch of red fireworks and Titan symbols <laughs> started to go off. I, I don't know exactly what was going on there. I got kind of a legendary engram, which was a special one. It was basically a prime engram, which gave me a max level reward. And there's also a triumph that's associated with participating in the closing ceremonies event, if you can call it that, uh, but it's bugged for a lot of you guys. So yeah, that's the closing ceremonies. I was gonna end the video right here basically as a meme, but then something really interesting is happening and I am not making this up. This is like basically breaking news. It's being confirmed right now, guys. The three, five, seven, and flawless rewards for Trials of Osiris this weekend are all igneous hammers. I I'm not kidding. You can see it right here. So that means if you don't have a good igneous hammer, it is quad igneous hammer drops right now. Holy crap, get into Trials. There's gonna be such an influx of people trying to get this. It's gonna be easier than ever to not necessarily go flawless, but certainly getting to five wins to get two igneous drops. Don't forget, you also have the basically free drop. You can go to Saint-14 and grab the end game bounty and you just have to complete matches. You can literally jump off a cliff, you know, until you complete enough matches and that will guaranteed give you an igneous hammer because it gives you the three win rewards. So yeah, there you go. Actually turns out to be a pretty crazy weekend. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video, found it informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.